Welcome to another edition of Let's Play Ring of Honor 2015. This is the last week in February, and the week in which the tournament continues. As we have our last first round match this week between the returning Kenny King and Romantic Touch. And uh, fans, before I get going with this week's episode, I need to explain something. I need to explain something to each and every one of you. And the thing I need to explain is where I've been. Instead of making a separate video, I chose to do it right here and now. I have been away. I've been away doing a lot of other things, you know, with school and finishing up school and all that stuff, but mostly it's because I'm in between editing softwares. I don't have an editing software right now, and for a time I didn't even I did not even have a recording software. But now everything is somewhat back to normal, you know, fingers crossed, and I should be finding an editing software within the next couple of weeks. So, let's get back under, underway with Let's Play Ring of Honor 2015. As you saw, the pre-show match for this week's episode was Rob Echoes against Rich Money. Echoes, um, either last week or the week prior, competed in a first round tournament match against the Big O. And instead of keeping Rob Echoes out of the ring until his round two match, I decided to let Rob Echoes, you know, actually compete. And speaking of people I actually let compete, QT Marshall against Ryan Pierce, and Ryan Pierce against War Machine. Since I started this season back in, or this Let's Play rather, back in... I want to say January, but I don't remember. Uh, back in Jan... Actually, wait, no, I think it was December. I think it was after Final Battle. I'm not, I don't remember. Uh, either way, since then, you haven't really seen much of War Machine. But, but now it's time for me to start putting, putting War Machine in a position to do better. And a position to succeed like they are in in Ring of Honor. Which, by the way, they're in such a position to succeed that they're going to be the ones going for the tag team titles at Final Battle. And speaking of tag teams, who better to have an interview with than one of the most, two of the most charismatic people in the tag team, in the worldwide tag team division, and that is Matt and Nick, the Young Bucks. The main question asked by Kevin Kelly is, in this, where have they been? And what do they have planned for 2015? And all they say is, you'll have to wait and see. And now we move to the final first round match of this 16 person single elimination tournament to determine who will get a shot at either the TV title or the World Heavyweight Championship at a later date, most, most notably and more likely at the end of the tournament sometime. But it is Kenny King against Romantic Touch. Kenny King making his return to Ring of Honor. And yes, if you might know, you might know who Romantic Touch is, so then you might know the intrigue and the interest in seeing this match. And now we move to the next segment, which is the in-ring segment portion of the broadcast. Excuse me, I apologize. With Roderick Strong coming out to the ring and saying that he has something to settle with B.J. Whitmer, and he calls B.J. Whitmer out to the ring. This leads to a back and forth between Roddy and BJ. 
and the fact that Roddy finally turns I mean uh it um watch I was that Roddy is sick and tired of BJ and he wants BJ's ass he wants a piece of BJ's ass. But just as the fight commences between BJ and Roddy outruns Jimmy Jacobs and Adam Page to level the numbers in the in the field or on the scale of BJ and Roddy to BJ and they leave and they once again beat down Roderick Strong and leave him right in the middle of the ring things are not over between Roddy and the decade they're just getting all the more interesting speaking of well actually they have nothing to do with the decade but I will say the last real man, Silas Young, and Tommaso Ciampa in a solid match, which, you know, for this company where the popularity is limited, that was a solid match, and Silas continues to show his talent in the ring with another, with another victory, uh, and another solid match overall. Now we go to the next thing with... Kevin Kelly and Nigel McGuinness at ringside, and they discuss the two tournament matches next week on ROH television, and that is Chris Hero and Cliff vs. Cliff Compton, and Kyle Kyle O'Reilly versus Brian Kendrick. I, for one, am looking forward to O'Reilly versus Kendrick because I think that match is going to be good. And now we move to the next segment, which is ACH coming down to watch the next match on commentary as Chris Hero goes against Homicide. And I will use, and the same logic behind Rod, Rob Echo's match on the pre-show factors into Chris Hero in the main event because Chris Hero has not been, been well in reality Chris Hero has not been seen in two weeks since he joined Truth Martini and the House of Truth and that is why ACH was at ringside watching Chris Hero's match and in reality. All you heard from ACH, I mean, uh, while ACH was on commentary, all you heard was praise to Hero. It was praise. He was praising Chris Hero. And, um, um, he was speaking very highly of Chris Hero as he believes Hero was somewhat of a mentor to him or somebody, basically somebody who watched growing up, and he, he was very disappointed when Hero did what he did, and doesn't understand why Hero did what he did at Proving Ground, not just costing him a world title, uh, costing him the TV title, but also costing him, but also joining the House of Truth, rather. But, for that, all that and more, including Chris Hero competing once again next week against Cliff Compton and Kyle O'Reilly against Brian Kendrick, the first two round two matches in the tournament, the 16-man single elimination tournament, happening next week on ROH as we move forward to our next iPay-per-view in the month of March. Stay tuned in for that and much more on ROH television. If you like the broadcast, if you like this show, this episode, leave a comment. Leave a comment down below what was your favorite part, and don't forget to like, subscribe, all that stuff for more content just like this that you can only find right here Wrestling Express. Till next time. Wait.